Welcome to this tutorial on Introduction to BioPython. In this tutorial, we will learn about important features of BioPython, information regarding download and installation on Linux operating system, and translation of a DNA sequence to a protein sequence using BioPython tools. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with undergraduate biochemistry or bioinformatics and basic Python programming. Refer to the Python tutorials at the given link. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 12.04, Python version 2.7.3, IPython version 0.12.1 and BioPython version 1.58. BioPython is a collection of modules for computational biology. It can perform most basic to advanced tasks required for bioinformatics. BioPython tools are used for parsing that is extracting information from various file formats such as FASTA, GenBank, etc. Download data from database websites such as NCBI, EXPASY, etc. Run bioinformatic algorithms such as BLAST, it has tools for performing common operations on sequences, for example, to obtain complements, transcription, translation, etc. Code for dealing with alignments and code to split up tasks into separate processes. Information regarding download. BioPython package is not part of the Python distribution. It needs to be downloaded independently. For details, Refer to the following link. Installation on Linux system. Install Python, IPython and BioPython packages using Synaptic Package Manager. Prerequisite software will be installed automatically. Additional packages must be installed for graphic outputs and plots. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T key simultaneously. I have already installed Python IPython and BioPython on my system. Start IPython interpreter by typing IPython and press enter. IPython prompt appears on screen. To check the installation of BioPython at the prompt type import bio press enter. If you don't get any error message it means BioPython is installed. Here let me remind you Python language is case sensitive. Take precaution while typing keywords, variables or functions. For instance, in the above line, i in import is lowercase and b is uppercase in bio. In this tutorial, we will make use of BioPython modules to translate a DNA sequence. It involves the following steps. First, create a sequence object for coding DNA strand. Next, transcription of coding DNA strand to mRNA. Finally, translation of mRNA to a protein sequence. We will be using the coding DNA strand shown on this slide as an example. It codes for a small protein sequence. The first step is to create a sequence object for the above coding DNA strand. Let us go back to the terminal. For creating a sequence object, import the SEQ module from BioPackage. The SEQ module provides methods to store and process sequence objects. At the prompt, type from bio.seq import seq. Press enter. Next, specify the alphabets in the strand explicitly when creating your sequence object. That is, to specify whether the sequence of alphabets code for nucleotides or amino acids. To do so, we will use IOPAC module from alphabet package. At the prompt, type from bio.alphabet import IOPAC. Press enter. Note that we have used import and from statements to load SEQ and IOPAC modules. Store the sequence object in a variable called cDNA. 
at the prompt type cdna equal to seq as in normal strings. Enclose the sequence within double quotes and parentheses. We know our sequence is a DNA fragment. So type an ambiguous DNA alphabet object as an argument. For the output, type cDNA, press enter. The output shows the DNA sequence as a sequence object. Let's transcribe the coding's DNA strand into the corresponding mRNA. We will use the SEQ module's built-in transcribe method. Type the following code. Store the output in a variable mRNA. At the prompt, type mRNA equal to cdna.transcribe open and close parenthesis. Press enter. For the output, type mRNA. Press enter. Observe the output. The transcribe method replaces the thiamine in the DNA sequence by uracil. Next, to translate this mRNA to corresponding protein sequence, use the translate method. Type the following code. Protein equal to mRNA dot translate open and close parenthesis. Press enter. The translate method translates RNA or DNA sequence using the standard genetic code if unspecified. The output shows an amino acid sequence. The output also shows information regarding the presence of stop codons in the translated sequence. Observe the asterisk at the end of the protein sequence. It indicates the stop codon. In the above code, we have used a coding DNA strand for transcription. In BioPython, transcribe method works only on coding DNA strand. However, in real biological systems, the process of transcription starts with a template strand. If you are starting with a template strand, convert it to the coding strand by using reverse complement method as shown on the terminal. Follow the rest of the code as shown above for the coding strand. Using methods in BioPython, we have translated a DNA sequence to a protein sequence. DNA sequence of any size can be translated to a protein sequence using this code. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt important features of BioPython, information regarding download and installation on Linux operating system, create a sequence object for the given DNA strand, transcription of the DNA sequence to mRNA, translation of mRNA to protein sequence. Now for the assignment. Translate the given DNA sequence into a protein sequence. Observe the output. The protein sequence has an internal stop codon. As it happens in nature, translate the DNA till first in frame stop codon. Your completed assignment should have the following code. Notice that we have used to underscore stop argument in the translate method. Notice the output. The stop codon itself is not translated. The stop symbol is not included at the end of your protein sequence. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.